Oh, this one. Lancer Evo 8 in WRC colors. I think this one uh, is the replica of the Evo 6. <laughs> you know what? We're gonna we, we're gonna go and build this car first. We're gonna go and build this car to rally spec. Rally spec. Let's go. We are going to build it uh, first. Uh, we are going to put some weight reduction until stage. No, only one stage. Okay. Only one stage reduction is necessary. I just want to buy the pipe power receptor and uh, ballast because I like it. Or maybe you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Let's 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 buy a stage two reduction and then I I will I'll increase the the weight later using ballast. I'm gonna buy some dirt tires. Fully customizable computer. Uh, I might yes, I will buy the racing the low RPM turbo charger because we need lots and lots of torque, low and torque. Okay, because because you guys uh, as you know as you as you all know, WRC machines, uh, rally cars have have like insane amount of torque with just three hundred horses. I'm gonna buy the anti lag system. A racing intercooler. Uh, maybe some, uh, maybe a racing muffler too. Racing uh, muffler and racing exhaust manifold. Then we'll just like uh, use the power restrictor to uh, reduce the power to just 300, 320 horses. Alright. Racing brake, brake pads and brake kits, brake balance controller, fully customizable suspension. Using clutch and flywheel, torque vectoring, center differential, so you can change the power the power distribution. Only customizable racing transmission. We don't need to buy any uh, any racing tires. Snow tires and a hydraulic handbrake. Oh, okay. Also, we need we need a carbon carbon product. and that's all. Okay. Because the WRC spec only like limits the power to 300 horses, 300 to 320 horses, okay? And that's that's all you need. That is all you need. Actually, okay. you want to content search here, okay? Content search here. Uh, tick the current car, then search. And I think, uh, okay, this is the one. This is the one that I that I that I uh, that I uh, use. Alright, by this user, Patrick Nori can search this guy's name or maybe use the use the hashtag okay the wrc then uh, this 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 design will come out um change it to dirt tires first right because it's the same as dirt and snow is, is, is the same we are going to increase the right height to the maximum i think yeah and then anti roba increase it a bit damping ratio for expansion Increase it to the maximum. Then pig ratio for compression, just increase it to level 30. Natural frequency, we are going to just increase it uh, slightly lah. Maybe plus 15. Uh, make it like some somewhere like this, you know, 1.7 front and 1.8 the rear. The camber angle, we are going to reduce it, okay? Because uh, you don't need you don't need much. You don't need much camber for, for the racing. Negative angle for the front, just reduce to 1.5. Toe angle, we are going to uh, increase it. Increase to toe out. Okay, toe out a bit. Uh, the rear angle, we're going to uh, leave it as is. The initial torque for the front, I'm going to use whatever uh, whatever, what, whatever I've used for, for, the, uh, for road racing. And then leave it as is. The front and rear torque distribution, we're going to leave it at 40-60 because dirt. However, downforce, downforce, I'm going to increase it to the maximum. Downforce, I'm going to increase it to the maximum. Okay, uh, maybe not maximum. We need to uh, have some, like, a significant gap, okay? Leave, 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 leave some, uh, like, a uh, huge difference. For between the front and the rear, rear downforce levels because too much arrow, too much downforce at the front 
you are uh, is going to cause you like instability at high speeds okay because the rear and rear downforce is actually to stabilize to stabilize uh, the front end right <laughs> Marlboro Mitsubishi Mekinen yep it is so good it is a timeless it is a timeless design and now you are going to increase the balance so it is around 2760 yes 2760 pounds or around 1230 kilograms we're going to remove the uh, move the ballast to the rear uh, okay make it this one 5743 or maybe i could maybe i could do ah i could do this move the the, the ballast all the way to the rear okay 5644 you're gonna get that uh you want you want to get that that rear traction going and now you are going to reduce the power the power to just through 318 and the top speed we reduce it to maybe 240 kph or maybe less 220 yeah um no 230 yeah keep it 230 okay keep it 230 uh hydraulic handbrake wait wait wrong button <laughs> wrong button Uh, reduce it a bit. Uh, brake controllers, we are not going to do anything. Maybe just one to the rear, okay? Anti lag system, always strong, okay? You're not, we are not using this for uh, engine switching. Now we're gonna check if the uh, okay, the right height looks a bit weird. Maybe not put it all the way to the top. Maybe just use 180 millimeters. Yeah, I think 180 millimeters is, is okay. Alright, this is your ready spec. This is your dirt spec. I'm going to change the name first. Okay, dirt. Dirt. And then I'm going to duplicate this sheet and change it to snow, because the only thing that you need to change is the is the tires. Change it from dirt to snow. That's all. The other setup is still same. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's it. Let's go racing. Sardinia windmills against uh, Group B racing cars. Okay. Um, you know, to be honest, I'm not gonna win this race. Okay, I'm just gonna see how far, how far up the position I can go. If I'm racing with uh, the easiest, uh, the uh, easy opponents, okay, the easiest opponents, I can, I can win the race with just 300 horses. But with a uh, professional, uh, professional difficulty, the hardest difficulty, then no chance. No chance you're gonna win with 300 horses. Unless you get like really lucky, or you are like one of those alien races. Alright, here we go. We are starting dead last. Oh god. oh god, the swing. I might. Uh, yep. I regret. I think I'm regretting putting the, the rear. The rear. Uh, putting the ballast all the way to the rear. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. You know what? We are, we are climbing up the positions, right? Really nice. Okay, sorry, sorry for all the hits. Right. It's a rally cross. And anything goes, I think. <laughs> oh god, I keep hitting the, the walls. Good launch. Oh, that's a huge jump. That's a huge jump. And that's a weird angle. <laughs> We're already up into sixth place. Nice. Oh, wow. I think this is the new rally physics. 
it's so sensitive. The front end is so sensitive. Okay, fifth, four. Oh wait, what? What? Am I actually going to have a chance at leading this race? I might have a chance. Oh, okay. That's two cars. That's two cars hit. <laughs> Going for bumper, maximum bumper car mode. Okay, I think I think I need to uh, check. Okay. Mm, I might need to, to retune the suspension after this. Oh wait, what? With only 300 horses, we've man we uh we managed to get into the lead. <laughs> With only 300 horses, this is unexpected. I wait. Uh, am I using the am I am, am I using the right difficulty level? I'm gonna have to check this. I'm gonna have to check the the, the, the difficulty levels of this. I'm not only I'm leading, I'm like crushing the opponent. I'm leading, yeah. Creating a gap. Better over there. What's the AI? You know, is the does the AI not know how to drive on on dirt anymore? You've got six hundred to seven hundred horsepower rally cross vehicles, right? And here I am with. Uh, with additional weight, okay, with additional weight and producing only and only using 320 horses. Okay. Oh man, there's so many. There are so many videos I can create. There are so many videos I can create from, from this stream alone. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I'm gonna save this replay, but I'm not gonna take any any photos first. I might, I might, I might uh, like save this this uh, this evo. Okay, this replay for later. If I win the race, okay, if I win the race. What then? Aside from my first, my very first uh, credit farm race, right? Like, <laughs> the other the other races have been good. The other races have been good. Yep, I definitely need to reduce um, or actually maybe increase the run front suspension values or maybe need to do both increase the front stiffness reduce the, the rear stiffness make it slightly slightly red uh, slightly uh, less reactive right because I do not like the car to be less spin around to turn like that fast okay one more lap to go and I'm like leaving the AI behind not gonna lie I need to check my my my, my uh, levels of this uh, you know what I no speaking about Driving skills, I am definitely not coming back in. I am definitely not coming back in levels, you know. <laughs> so this is a surprise. Okay, finally, 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 some decent, decent, decent victory for the ring. <laughs> Da 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 
Wow, this is this is a pleasant surprise. You know, this is a pleasant surprise, I must say. Edwin, Edwin on a severely underpowered car. Who knew? <laughs> Who freaking knew? Fifteen seconds behind. The group B rally car. The, the, the Practically the uh, rally cross cars producing like over 600 to 700 horses. They fail. They all. They all fall. They fell. They fall down. They. You know what? I'm not gonna keep it handsy, okay? They lost against a 300 horsepower rally car. Would you look at that? <laughs> I'm gonna see something, please, first. Let's check our difficulty here. Uh, reach difficulty. Oh, it is hard. It is at hard level. It is the harder difficulty. So I think the AI is struggling on on dirt roads. Huh. All right. Good to know. Good to know. 